hello everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's tutorial uh, in this tutorial we are going to create a responsive testimonial grid layout it is more about css grid and understanding how to use css grid uh, this project is a very good exercise to understand a css grid combining html and css skill with a focus on responsive design principle we will be working on a challenge from a front-end mentor adapting it to create an engaging user-friendly layout that display testimonial in visually appealing manner our task is to develop a web page showcasing a collection of testimonial each testimonial will be host in a card like Format, and this card will be arranged in grid layout either in rows or in columns the challenge emphasizes the importance of responsive design ensuring that the layout adapt various devices from large desktop screen to compact mobile device you know css grid layout commonly known as grid a two-dimensional layout system it enables developer to create a complex and responsive layout more efficiently the system provide a way to arrange element in row and columns offering a greater control and flexibility compared to all the layout model let's jump into vs code to apply this uh, layout from html structure to css and responsiveness i have a testimonial uh, folder which include css style and index html and folder here uh, with a different images of um, people that we are going to use here i will put this on the on github and put the link on the description below so let's start by just a structure of our html and uh, we write emmet and I change the title here this testimonial challenge and save this make our css and bring our css here we call it style and now let's make a grid container which is a testimonial grid in here we will have different card one two three four five card and this is all our grid grid container we'll start by you know creating the first card let's call it a testimonial testimonial one and give it id as well main one so in here we have header here we see name as daniel and we have a ver verified graduate give a header and in the header i want a class call it header as well uh, here we will add the image daniel so let's make it and here we have all the images the first image is the image and the source is folder called images here images the image of daniel so call it image daniel.jpg class testimonial image I give it the div class which is testimonial name and in here add h3 which is daniel daniel clifford and paragraph which is verified graduate here we have daniel uh, image daniel and uh, daniel clifford name uh, which is h3 and a verified graduate as programs we need to add more we'll go right below the header and add quote which is we have two quote with the larger text and the smaller text so in that we will add block quote here and i need a text class which is testimonial text large and in here you will just add text and the text will be uh, you will find in the project i will put it on the description below as a repository you need to just add the large text here create a new quote for the smaller text which is also text add the text here and save this so now we have name and two text the same way we will add all and the large and the same classes and everything the same only we need to change here the id main the second one will main two and so forth so go ahead and do that now i added all the card five card and here we have testimonial one for daniel and testimonial two for jonathan 
and for testimonial three janet for patrick and for the fifth which is for kira and last here we need to add the footer the link of the front mentor now we have footer and we have five cards let's jump into css to style this you know card like this start by importing uh, css url font from google so i will put this link on the description below so start by universal selector and you know adjust the default so give it margin zero and add padding zero as well and give the box sizing border box for the body here let's for the body say give font size 13 pixel font weight 600 and background and give the text code which is edf2f8 and font font family we give it to barlow semi content sans serif so first thing we have uh, testimonial grid which is uh, the grid container of all the card uh, just give margin first and margin I want 40 pixel uh, top and bottom auto for right and left give a padding like 10 pixel width uh, this is guideline from mentor 1440 pixel now let's first go and style the card and let the grid display grid and all that at the last in order to understand how to style the grid grab the testimonial this is style applied for all the card and uh, let's say background and give it to white and give bird radius 10 pixel let's add box shadow you know 48 pixel 100 pixel 0 and the color is RGB A which take 17 12 46 0 0.16 and let's add padding 10 pixel margin 8 pixel just to make space you know from each card uh, as you see here a name is at the right of the image so let's put this above here and uh, in that we target uh, header which we call it uh, this one class in this particular section I will use a flex box in order to align so let's say display flex align item could be center you know if you want to know more about uh, you know flex and flex box so i made a tutorial on css flex box just check this video out and i will put the link on the description below as well testimonial name which is daniel change h3 make font size to be a bit bigger so font size make it 15 pixel Let's give the paragraph as well, call it P opacity, say 0 0.5, which is 50%, you know, slightly blurry and make it font size also 15 the same. So now let's go to the, the image, let's call it testimonial, testimonial image, and for that I want border radius which is 50% and I want border as well so let's call it border and on the border I want color to have a hexacode which is 99 take my ED 9 3 pixel solid you know to move the text slightly right so make it margin right 8 pixel Z index here above the other element so a G index to make it one now let's go to testimonial one testimonial one is uh, Daniel's so let's say grid areas 
but just let it let it open like this we will apply it later uh, the background background color uh, you know the guideline of the challenge say that we need to use HSL format which is 263 percent here the last lightness should be 52 percent now I need the color to be white in the guideline we have this code background SVG so background image and in the background image uh, you use URL and we bring we have images and we have background big background pattern caution SVG save this say background repeat no repeat and to position on here at the right of image so let's say background position uh, top make 12 pixel and make it right to be 100 pixel and we can adjust if it's not at the right position uh, overflow make it hidden and add, add padding to be 20 pixel now for the second card uh, the second card we have testimonial 2 we just do background color and the same will have the second card is you know dark gray which is 217 and desperation to be 19 percent and lightness to be 35 percent and change the color to be white and just we copy this testimonial 3 it is white add grid area here as well add background color to be white also the same format we're using zero iteration zero percent and brightness 100 percent which is white color go to the first one four which is this one dark blue add the grid area and let it open like this the background color which is 219 and give it saturation 29 percent and brightness to be 14 percent and add the color to be white you know padding and overflow as same as instead of doing in each one overflow and hidden we just combine them together and in that we make it testimonial 5 and just apply overflow hidden for all of them and let's add the fifth one dot testimonial 5 and for that we add here let's say grid area grid area and let it and the background is the same as uh, you know testimonial 3 which is a white background so now we have designed our card with the different colors now let's customize the text which is uh, let's say uh, font size 1.5 rem font weight 600 and line height to be 1.4 and let's add padding 10 pixel do the same to the smaller text which is testimonial we call it text and for that let's say font size make it 14 pixel and line height to be 1.3 give opacity to be you know 70 percent this is from the guide so 0.7 which let's go to footer footer and for the footer we say uh, font size to be 14 pixel text align to be center color which is 2 to 8 saturation and lightness to be 44 percent to be 10 pixel from top and bottom and zero from right now the time has come to apply grid area and in that we come to grid container here we say display grid we need to 
specify here grid template a grid template columns we say repeat and we need you know four columns which is one uh, from here to here and two three four columns and we have two rows from here one two so we say repeat four and each to have one fraction now column one is start from number one expand to number two and column two start from two to three three start from three to four and column four is start from four to five row one to two and two to three here we need to uh, you know grid template rows make it auto you know let's give it a gap a gap 20 pixel grid template areas grid template areas and here we need to specify which area that we are going to you know put in here we we have a id here we have main one main two and main three main four and here with the last one we call it a side you know i want this one to have from one this is the first one and this is the second one to expand to second column so in that case here i just give main one and main one this is for the for the first column and the second column and for third one i want this one to to, to have a third column main aside because we have only two rows so i have two rows here i do the same here and i want this is the third one main I mean, here this is this is two not three this is two this is number two so the third one is here this is a third one to take this column and expand only the first row this card to take column number two all the way to column number three so in that case i make main four and main four and the last one is because this is a side one which take all the column so i make a side so that's all we need here and we save it we go here and give each uh, card it is you know area so the first one is this one we said main one as soon as we you know give the main area it automatically change you know take the first column and second column and for the second one we make it main two main four we call it main four and main four is we want this to expand all the way from two to three so main four and the last one is kira which wanted to take from to bottom of the all the way so make it aside here now as you see here let's go back here and you know this margin we, we don't need it make this is main three so this is uh, you know this code is uh, seem a bit large so we can just make it a bit smaller so make it 300 if you want to make this quote is you know italic slightly you know you can just come here to uh, you know the text and say font style say italic and as you see here uh, this is not responsive so let's add uh, you know media query in order to make it responsive and go right below footer add media query here and uh, define the width of the screen and uh, for the larger screen we are choosing 768 pixel we start by the you know main testimonial grid which is testimonial grid and for that we want grid template column we need one fraction you know grid template areas we want it to have as follows so make it the first you know first row to have one make it pixel here this is for now for uh, 768 pixel for um, for the for the card and we make it for the image as well you know 80 pixel you know the the font size all of this i wanted to have 
you know, quantize one rem. The last one is for a mobile device. And paste here. Change the size of the screen. Make it 480 pixel. And instead of two here, make it only one. This is for mobile device. So slightly smaller. And instead of 80 here, make it 60 pixel. And instead of one RAM, make it 0 0.9. You see now, when it's come to 400, under 480, the images change. That's all for today. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give a thumb up. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share with your friend. Until next, happy coding.